Good afternoon, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It's nice and quiet in here, except to the rushing of the water there. So refreshing, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, again for this wonderful day. Evening, rather. <laughs> because it's nearly evening, going to be 6 o'clock. It's now 5.30. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God, again for this wonderful time for me to be able to Come here and read God's word here in this wonderful place. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you. Oh, God, you are worthy of glory and honor and praise. Father, you are so, so good, Lord. You are so awesome. You are so wonderful. Hallelujah. You are with us, in us, through us, and with you, Lord. Nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify your Father. <laughs> Time of refreshing. Oh, yes. Here in your presence. Here in your presence, Lord. No greater blessing. No greater blessing than being with you. Than being you yes lord my soul is restored my mind is renewed yes father god there's no greater joy lord than being with you yes indeed lord there is no greater joy father god than being with you <laughs> thank you lord Oh, hallelujah. What a wonderful day, night. <laughs> night and day actually is beautiful. Amen? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> beautiful flowers like purple and uh, sweet purple. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You love me so much. Giving me all these purple flowers around here. Look at that. It's purple as well. And so is this one. <laughs> uh, it's purple. Uh, it's deep purple. And of course, another one which I, which I saw earlier, the first time. There it is. Uh, it's sweet purple. Lavender, just like my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like my head. Anyway, let's continue on reading God's word now in the book of um, hallelujah thank you father in the book of um, um where are we now <laughs> i'm sorry about that um say oh yeah we are now in the book of um, thank you lord father god as we continue to read your word help us to understand give us lord the spiritual Give us, Lord, a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Lord, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And thank you, Lord. It says here that I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has given me strength. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. Amen. This is the day to keep in mind that it is much better to accomplish a small deed than to have a long list of grandiose intentions. Um, tender little memories of some word or deed give us strength and courage when we are in need. Amen. And let's, let's that it's, it says here. If gratitude is due for children to their earthly parents how much more is the gratitude for the great family of men due to our father in heaven indeed amen Hosea Balu <laughs> and we are going to read now in the book of Amos chapter 8 and maybe chapter 9 this will be the last chapters of our book visions vision of the summer fruit thus the Lord God showed me behold a basket of summer fruit and he said Amos, what do you see? So I said, a basket of fr summer fruit. Then the Lord said to me, the end has come upon my people, Israel. I will not pass by them anymore. 
and the songs of the temple shall be wailing in that day, says the Lord God. Many dead bodies everywhere, they shall be thrown in, out in silence. Hear this, you who swallow up the needy and make the poor of the land fail, saying, when, uh, when will the new moon be passed that we shall sell uh, grain and the Sabbath that we may trade weight? And making the ephah small and the shikel large, falsifying the scales of deceit, and we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for pair of sandals, even sell the bad wit. And so the Lord has sworn by the pride of Jacob, surely I will never forget any of the works. Shall the land not tremble for this, and every one mourn who dwells in it? All of it shall swell like the river, heave and subside like the river of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that I will make the sun go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in broad daylight. I will turn your feast into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation. I will bring sackcloth on every waist, and baldness on every head. I will make it like mourning for, on, for an only son, and its end like a bitter day. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but for, of hearing the words of the Lord. They shall wander from sea to sea, and from north to east, they shall run to and fro, seeking the word of the Lord, but shall not find it. Mm. In that day, the fair virgins and the strong young men shall faint um, from thirst. Those who swear by the sin of Samaria, who say, As your, go as your God li lives, O Dan, and as the way of Bathsheba lives, in that fell and never rise again. They shall fall and never rise again. Mm. Chapter 9 of Amos, the destruction of Israel. I saw the Lord standing by the altar, and he said, Strike the doorpost that the thresholds may, may shake, and break them on the heads of them all. I will slay the last of them with the sword. He who flees from them shall not get away, and he who escapes from them shall not be delivered. Though they, di they dig into hell, from there my hand shall make them. They though climb up to heaven, from there I will bring them down. Though they hide themselves on top of Carmel, from there I will search and take them. Though they hide from my sight at the bottom of the sea, from there I will command the serpent and it shall bite them. Though they go into captivity, uh, captivity before their enemies, from there I will command the sword, and it shall slay them. I will set my eyes on them for harm and not for good. The Lord God of hosts, who, he who touches the earth and its melts, and all who dwells therein mourn, and all, in, all of it shall swell like the river and subside like the river of Egypt. He who builds his layers in the sky and has founded his strata in the earth who calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out of the face of the earth the Lord is his name are you not like the people of Ethiopia to me O children of Israel says the Lord did I not bring up Israel from the land of Egypt the Philistines from Kaftor and Assyrians from Ker behold the eyes of the Lord are on the skin, sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from the face of the earth yet I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob says the Lord for surely I will command and will sift for surely I will command and will sift the house of Israel among all nations as grain as sift in a sieve yet not the smallest grain shall fall to the ground all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, who say the calamity shall not overtake nor comfort us. Israel will be restored. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>
On that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David which has fallen down and repair its damages. I will raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of um, old that they may possess the remnants of Adam and all the Gentiles who are called by my name says the Lord who does this thing. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when the plow plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him who sows seed. The mountains shall drip with sweet wine, and all the hills shall flow with it. I will bring back the captives of my people Israel. They shall build the waste cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink wine from them. They shall also make gardens and eat fruit from them. I will plant them in their land, and no longer shall they be pulled up. Indeed, amen. Thank you, Lord, for your promise. And from the land I have given them, says the Lord, I will plant them in their land, and no longer shall they be pulled up from the land I have given them, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you restore Israel back again because you have promised you, you are true to your promised words. Hallelujah. And also, Father God, hallelujah, Lord. Thank you that you restore us also, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you for sending God. Lord God, thank you for sending Lord Jesus into our lives. Hallelujah. To um, save us, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise the Lord and we glorify you, oh God. Let us um, continue to uh, seek the Lord by he, while He may be found. While the Word is uh, so uh, evident and uh, we can see God's Word, hallelujah, is giving us Word. Father God, thank you that this continue to read God's Word, hallelujah, so that uh, um, we may know Him more, hallelujah. God has promised us to never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and thank you for sending the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Come, let's pray, mga mahal. The Lord is uh, asking you to receive him as our personal Lord and Savior. Come, let's, let's uh, receive him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I open the door of my life and receive you as my Savior and Lord. I repent of my sins. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sins and giving me eternal life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Father God, for sending Jesus. And uh, hallelujah. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. And my fellow God's beloved, if you have prayed that prayer, then Christ came into your life. Your sins were forgiven. Should be from your heart, receiving Him from your heart. Your sins were forgiven. You became a child of God. You received eternal life. You began a great adventure for which God created you. And continue, of course, to read God's word, His love letter to us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We glorify you, oh God. We magnify your Lord. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and bring grace to you. And always remember.